because you seem like a lovely girl to me, and I always appreciate that, so I appreciate that. Um, well, basically, I'm here to just, uh, yeah, I want to end the lockdown. I think um, a lot of uh, businesses and a lot of families are really suffering. I don't see how they're going to come back out of this. Um, I think it was just overhyped, essentially. Um, I'm totally all for, you know, keeping the immunocompromised and the elderly uh, safe and, you know, heeding the warning for them. But um, I think for the healthy, uh, quarantine was unnecessary and it's just tyranny. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So there's there's an overreaction to this. What, what do you recommend for Canadians out there to take a look at? Like for example, people will say, "Oh, you got to trust the experts. You got this. You got that." But you know, we always get second opinions from doctors before big health decisions, right? If you sprain your ankle and one doctor says, "Oh, you need to have surgery," and you go to another doctor and say, "Can I just fix this with therapy?" Like, let me think for myself with two different opinions. So, where do you recommend, or who do you recommend people look at to sort of compare uh, these these professionals and these doctors? doctors to those ones? Well, I mean, I'm, I, I'm a big believer in the holistic health. I try to do things as naturally as possible. So I think just um, do your own research, take your own health into your own hands and, um, you know, eat properly, get your vitamins, get your minerals, exercise, get proper rest, do these things that are just very basic that we need to, to keep ourselves healthy. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So the holistic solution. Awesome. Yep. Ms. Vanessa, nice to meet you. Can we see your signs one more time? End the lockdown. And the other side the says? Lockdown. One Boom. of those. One of those. Yeah. Awesome. Our symbol of end the oppression. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Ms. Vanessa. We'll, we'll catch you, up BK. and I'll talk to you again. I'll email you. Thank Cheers. You. All right. How you doing? <clears throat> How you doing, folks? Can I talk to you about why you're you're here and why you're doing this? Is that okay? Yeah. Awesome. And so, uh, your, your your names, your names, your your names, first names, if you want. Jonathan and Beata. Uh, Beata? Beata. Jonathan and Beata. Yes. Okay, I like saying that. Beata it makes me feel dignified and European. I'm speaking with Beata. Hmm. Awesome. I'd love to. Can I stick my tinky out, pinky out and have tea with you one day? Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So, Miss Beata, Miss Jonathan, what do you have to say, Miss Beata? Sorry. What? What? What do you? Why are you? Uh, why are you here? Patriots are awake. Freedom. What, why are you holding that sign? What do you mean by that? And this is compared to left-wing protesters who often you try and talk to, they can't talk. They can make a racket, but they can't make sense. Whereas I believe on this side, sort of the patriots, they can. They can say, no, I'm not making a racket just to bother you. I'm making a racket because I have something to share and something to tell you. So Yeah, I am a former political refugee who escaped from the regime of communism in Poland some right. over 30 years ago. Right. So I believe that I can spot formation of totalitarian regime from afar. And pretty much I was observing uh, this formation of totalitarian regime on pretty much global scale um, years ago. But lockdown, um, it proves uh, that it's everything to do about formation of this totalitarian regime it has nothing to do with our health. Right. Because if that was the case, that how, how come, like somebody here pointed out, and right now many patriots are pointing out, how come, for example, that um, liquor stores, alcohol stores are being widely open while uh, our businesses are being closed? How come that abortion clinics are being open and considered essential, but at the same time, refusal of essential surgeries and medical procedures within all hospitals are being postponed. And as a result, and many of us have that experience on personal level, people are really suffering and even dying because of that refusal. Many of us patriots also check hospitals, local hospitals in respected regions where we are coming from. We took our cameras and we went around, especially ER. Some of us would stay there for a long time to see if anybody is coming in. And all hospitals are empty. There is no people in there. And of course, some people are trying to say from opposition, oh, because you haven't been um, inside of the hospital, so you don't know reality. But that doesn't make any sense, because if there was any pandemic, anybody who has common sense would say that the hospitals would be absolutely 
packed inside out and especially around ER there is no such thing as a back door or you know to the hospital that they would sneak in apparently those uh, people who are affected by COVID-19. So there is a lot, a lot of this uh, comparisons uh, that really doesn't make any sense. Any nope. sense. I, I understand Miss Beata. I also filmed four days right south there at College and University. Right. Yes. I filmed uh, around the hospitals, all the parking lots empty, Absolutely. things very quiet. Um, and uh, and there's also videos of doctors and nurses around the world making singing, dancing TikTok videos because they're so yes, bored. Yes, but there are also some, as we all know it, and they are actually having courage and thank you for that to those doctors and nurses who are showing themselves up. And, uh, and, and they say, this is nonsense. This is not really happening. They don't deny that virus exists. But they also point out that pandemic doesn't. And that virus, uh, they say, spreads more. Right. But it can be compared to any every year influenza. Last year, for example, in United States, over 80,000 people died uh, due to flu-related causes like pneumonia. So those numbers, I mean, who was talking about over 80,000 people who died? I, I'm not quite sure how many in Canada, but I, I think uh, it would be much more compared to it as well. Right. I worked in hospitals for over 10 years, right. not as a medical uh, person, but in the fields of pastoral care. So I was visiting people right. on a daily basis and I can uh, ensure you from my experience that that's very true that over uh, uh, you know, the, the greatest cause of death every year in every hospital is flu-related cause. Right. So we don't talk even anymore, uh, you know, uh, about flu, about pneumonia, about uh, cancer. Everybody who dies uh, seem to die of COVID-19, you yeah. know, which is ridiculous. You know, you cannot find any more statistics how many people died of just normal, you know, influenza, right? Everything it seems to be right. So there is something very fishy about it. Many of us are convinced, as actually uh, that demonstration proves, that we don't believe that there is a, that a lockdown uh, and uh, what politicians would call pandemic, that it's, uh, that it's for the reason of our health, but everything to do with the formation of totalitarian regime. A big it's power very grab. scary. Yeah. And I tell you, it's much worse than what I have experienced experienced, um, right. uh, you know, over 30 years ago, because it's on global scale. Right. That's so scary, because there is no more place to escape to. Yeah, uh, why do we have to listen to the World Government Health Organization? Absolutely. How do we even have a World Government? Who votes for them? Can we vote them out? Can we absolutely. do anything? Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, many, many um, people uh, not long ago, from my experience, um, would say if I pointed out uh, with my husband to Agenda 21 or, or Agenda 30, uh, UN's agenda, which which is written, which is published, it's online, it's available, yep. everybody can read it. But many people would say, oh, you know, that's conspiracy theory. Now the same people turned around because they are waking up and say, you know what, that conspiracy theory is actually conspiracy facts. And that is that there is a group of very powerful people in this world who are conspiring against all of us. And they have a, a deadly agenda to literally kill us because if that's not the case, if, if what I'm saying is absolutely insane, that how come that who organization Bill Gates are so imposing their little vaccination um, and they have a, a they have a proven track of killing people with this vac with vaccination in countries like Kenya or India. You know, people are actually in those countries. Uh, uh, 
you know, the, the, the leaders of those countries are going after Bill Gates and who because they, they, they harmed so many children. Yeah, they killed like 40,000 in India. I've heard things like this. Absolutely. Yeah. And millions in Africa. Totally, I agree. Yeah. Well, Miss, Miss Biata, any, any final thoughts? It seems like you know what you're talking about. Any final thoughts or, or things you recommend um, for people to look into or, or people websites or people? unite people gather people fight the system because if you don't um we never gonna come out of lockdown i'm with you it's it's lockdown will be there on the global scale and that's when it's absolutely too late because we won't be able to travel without taking little vaccination we won't be able to uh have normal life go outside of our home uh, we won't be able to uh, have a, our own business. Um, we will be pretty much done. It's, and if that's not convincing, if people are still fearful to fight, uh, those who are parents, if you do not do it for yourself, do it for your children and your children's children. Freedom costs, and we have to be able to sacrifice our own Selves, lives even for the cause of freedom. Fantastic, so, fantastic. Yeah, Ms. Biata, I'm I'm uh, I'm getting some emails from people to keep in touch. Maybe yes. win the offline info. Would I, you like to share? I would love to. Yeah? Okay, and fantastic. Please, uh, please do. Let's well, we, my, my my polite patriotic Canadian colleagues, with Toronto Truth Seekers, we beat swine flu last time <laughs> um, when that was around. So here it. Oh, oh, there's my pen here. Uh, okay. Do you have a card? Uh, is it your email is, on here? This is. This is my email. Oh, okay. Ignore my website. Okay. Um, there is Art a phone Veritas number. Home, you can Hotmail. text me. So yeah. Would you like to give me this or would you like to write it down? Are you okay? Take it this. Okay. And, and please contact me. Yes. I would love to stay in touch. I will be trying to organize demonstration in Niagara Falls. I also like the offline Infowar model where you give people, like we, 